हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे विल टॉक अबाउट अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वाइटमिन दैट इज वाइटमिन डी एंड आई एम गोइंग टू क्लैरिफाई सम बेसिक डाउट्स एंड ऑल्सो आंसर ए फ्यू क्वेरीज विच आर दैट आर कॉमन सो द नंबर वन क्वेश्चन और डाउट इन एवरीबडीज माइंड इज वॉट इज नॉर्मल वाइटमिन डी लेवल एंड मोस्ट ऑफ अस हैव गॉट यूज टू लुकिंग एट वेस्टर्न डेटा वेर एनी वैल्यू बिलो थर्टी इज टेकन एज इनसफिशियंसी एंड बिलो ट्वेंटी इज टेकन एज डेफिशियंसी but uh, that is no longer correct in our indian setup because uh, of skin pigmentation and also uh, being a different race we cannot apply all the western data to our indian data and few good studies have been done in healthy individuals healthy adults and what has been found is that any value above 13.5 can be considered as normal so below 13.5 is insufficiency and if the vitamin d value is below 7 only then it should be considered as deficiency so i have used this uh, you know the unit should be nanograms per ml and if you have a lab that reports vitamin d in nano moles per liter you just need to multiply the value of nanogram by a factor of 2.5 to arrive at that figure so now that we have decided what is normal what is deficiency insufficiency next is how does one go about getting the vitamin d so it vitamin d you know we can get from natural sources we don't have to depend on the supplements because supplements are not always the best solution so the best source and you know inexpensive free source is sunlight and in india we are lucky to have abundance of sunlight sunshine almost throughout the year so just exposing for 15 to 20 minutes three times in a week should be enough of course what time is ideal it depends on the uv index and uh, but in most of our country between 11 am to 2 pm may be fine but be careful to expose only for about 15 to 20 minutes because very long exposure you know it can increase the risk of certain skin cancers and uh, and the second thing is the skin should be exposed because if you are fully covered or if you apply sunscreen then the vitamin d synthesis may not occur the second normal source of getting vitamin d can be from fortified food so many foods that we get today are already fortified with vitamin d so this should suffice for most people now those who are having deficiency that is uh, values below 7 uh, nano grams per liter per ml so they are the people who may require you know supplements and you should not take supplements on your own you should consult a doctor and only then go for supplements which can be capsules tablets syrup or injections so depending on your level and any symptoms the doctor will decide what supplements and for how long you should use this is done because uh, vitamin d is fat soluble and if one takes larger amounts than is needed for a longer amount or longer duration it can cause vitamin d toxicity and toxicity can occur once the values go beyond 50 and especially above 75 and sometimes if the values are very high it can lead to even serious complications like including coma and seizures but luckily for us those adverse effects are not very common but still we don't have to you know use supplements on our own without any you know specific reason and uh, should everyone keep testing vitamin d answer is no if you test it you know once in a year that should be fine along with your uh, master health checkup or, or if you have any symptoms specific symptoms and your doctor advises vitamin d test at that time it can be done so i hope you understood you know few basic uh, facts for vitamin d and i'll be happy to receive any feedback on this